Questions like this can really confuse people. We're looking at how the EMF varies depending on the flux. So the main equation to use here is Faraday's law, which states that the EMF is equal to the rate of change of flux or rate of change of flux linkage. So when we say rates, obviously we're talking about divide by a change in time. So a fact that arises from this is that the EMF is equal to the gradient of any graph, flux time graph basically. So when we look at the gradient of this graph up here, if the gradient is ever zero, we'd expect the EMF to be zero. If it's ever a constant or a straight line, we'd expect the EMF to be a straight line. So let's look at which of these graphs it could be. So the only times on the graph where there's zero gradient would be here, here, um, and sort of down at the end. Now, unfortunately, all these graphs follow that pattern, so that's not massively helpful. But what we have got to look at is what's gonna, um, how we can actually describe um, the EMF at each point. If it's a straight line here, then that means that the gradient is constant. So if it's a constant gradient, then that means that the EMF is also constant. So it can't be these two down here because they haven't got a constant EMF. The EMF is changing, it's gradually increasing. Even though it happens really suddenly, these have a constant EMF at that point and also down these points here. So which one is it going to be then? Are we going to have our positive and then negative, or are we going to have a positive and positive as we see for B? Now, because this is a positive gradient, um, that means that this one is going to be a negative gradient. Um, so therefore, it's option A uh, for this question.